Good morning, I'm Earth Doctor Reese Halter, and you're listening to EarthCast, SOS.com. Tremendous news from the UK. Last Saturday, solar power set a new British record for beating poisonous coal for a 24-hour period. The sun provided British homes and businesses with more power than climate-altering, coal-fired, mercury-polluting power stations for one day. Yes! UK wind and solar in 2015 provided 31% of UK's energy, up from 13.9% in 2014. Last June, wind and solar combined to provide 40% of the UK's electricity for a couple of hours. And wind power provided more energy for the UK during the entire month of December than toxic coal-fired power plants. Wowzer! It doesn't end there. It keeps getting more exciting, ladies and gentlemen, because Innovation is our BFF in the 21st century. On a huge man-made lake on the edge of London, with its megalopolis population of 14 million humans, construction of Europe's largest floating solar power farm is ready to flip the switch. 23,000 solar panels on Queen Elizabeth II Reservoir at Walton-on-Thames is visible only to Heathrow Airport passengers and a few surrounding neighboring estates. These panels will provide energy for over 11 million people in London and Southeast England. It's an $8 million project that will power water treatment plants. These plants take mega amounts of energy, which up until now have depended on filthy, toxic coal-fired power plants for their juice. The incredible facts are that once installed, solar panels are good to go for at least three decades. There's no moving parts. The panels only occupy 6% of the reservoir, and they won't impinge upon water birds, fish, or frogs. A similar floating solar farm, half the size of QE2's array, is being erected in Manchester, a city of two and a half million peeps for its water supply system. London's array will generate 6.3 megawatts, while Manchester's will produce 2.7 megawatts a year. Japan has also entered the floating solar race, and soon they'll be the world's record floating farm holder at 13.7 megawatts a year, or more than twice London's QE2 farm. The race to save our planet is well underway. Yeah, baby! Hashtag love nature. Hashtag love is the solution. Earthcast SOS depends upon you, the listeners. So come on to drreese.com, D-R-R-E-E-S-E.com. Scroll to the bottom of the page and click on the donate button. Or pick yourself up any number of splendid books on bees, trees, seas, or wild weather. Just do it. DrReese.com. I'm Earth Doctor Reese Halter, reminding you to protect our planets.